Hey besties and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video I'll give you a little glimpse of what this video is going to be about but in today's video we are going to be doing something that I feel like is a little bit overdue. I like to do this really really often because I don't feel like you always need to spend a lot of money to look good especially with makeup. Um, but if you guys don't already know who I am, my name is Lindsay Johnson. I love makeup, skincare, and hanging out with all of you guys. But in this video, we are going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup goodies. I'm so excited. There's some new things that I'm playing with, but most of it is just tried and true things that I really really enjoy and just can't get enough of so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's jump right in. First going in with my e.l.f. cookies and dreams primer which you guys I do feel like this one does smooth the skin like it gives you a really nice surface like a nice base but I don't know I feel like there is a slight difference between this one and the other one that I do have this one just feels like it's a little bit more like hydrating a little bit more like smooth I don't know though that could definitely be in my head or the fact that this one is completely new a lot of times when I do get new elf primers like the putty ones and I play with them for like the first time they always feel a little bit more like creamy and like emollient than when I you know do go in after a couple uses of it so maybe that's what it is but I don't know nonetheless I think it's a good product and the packaging is super cute it looks like a little Oreo so I love that and then I also want to take a pump of the NYX professional plump right back primer y'all I love this I do find it to have a little bit of a plumping effect but more than anything I find it to be very very like hydrating for throughout the day I really enjoy this one when I first tried it I was like yeah it's good it does have also like a little tackiness to it so it goes really really great when you do put makeup oh, oh sorry <laughs> So when you do go to put that makeup over top, it does help with that longevity and I've just really, really, really been bringing this out a lot. You guys can tell because you see how it's like one of those that like goes up the more you use it. I definitely, it's like right here, so I have been using it a good amount and really, really loving the product. So both of those products are pretty good. I'm going in with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. Oh my gosh, it's like leaking a little bit. Wow, you guys be careful with this one it can get super messy so I'm going in with the shade light and I'm just using this because I haven't used it in a really long time to the point where I can't even like really remember like how I feel about it but I'm going into this fresh new elf blender from the cookies and dreams collection as well and going ahead and applying that onto the skin because I don't really remember how I feel about this one, but when I did do my one size beauty review, I felt like this had like a similar component to that one, just like with the shape. So I did pull it out and then I was like, you know, I really haven't been using this product. Oh, that has like a nice like light medium coverage. Hmm, looks pretty healthy on the skin. It does have like an odd smell though. Maybe that's why I don't pick it up super often. The smell is definitely different. I will tell you that for sure. The most annoying thing to me about drugstore makeup is that literally nothing has like a mirror. Like nothing. Nothing has a freaking mirror like I hope that in 2022 we can kind of change that I feel like it can't be that expensive to have a mirror you know like it's it's really upsetting let me go get one real quick the pores aren't looking their best but at the end of the day that's totally fine if this wasn't a drugstore only video oh my gosh I would take my hourglass vanish primer put that on underneath and oh my gosh it would look so seamless beautiful the pores would be just not gone, but definitely like smoothed out and minimized. It would be really, really pretty, but this is also totally fine too. We're human. We have pores. And you guys can definitely see, like it definitely doesn't cover up a lot, but at the same time, it does give you a really healthy finish. Then going in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Y'all, I always say it, but when I first tried this product out, I did not like it, but I put like way, way too much 
and now that I put less I really do enjoy it like I enjoy this one a lot so I'm just gonna put this everywhere I would usually conceal under the eyes above the lip sometimes on the side of the lip but I haven't been doing that lately on the chin and then sometimes also let's just do the forehead just a little bit but I haven't been doing that as often you guys me and my girlfriend I don't know if this is like TMI but I just had it in my mind and I thought it was so funny today, but me and my girlfriend have literally been using so much toilet paper so quickly. Like, let me know in the comments down below if y'all, like, do that. Like, if you, like, live by yourself or, like, with your girlfriend, whatever, boyfriend, whoever, whatever, just, like, with a roommate, someone. Let me know if you live on your own, basically, is what I'm trying to say. If y'all go through, like, toilet paper um really quickly i feel like maybe i don't maybe i've always went through it like at this rate but since now i'm the one that's like getting it you know what i mean it feels like i go through it quicker but like dude i feel like i'm getting like toilet paper super duper often i don't know what that is about i don't know that's so pretty i'm gonna go in with a little bit more But yeah, you guys, living with Kayla is like one of the best things I think that could have happened for our relationship. It's just brought us so much closer and honestly, I just really, really love living with her. I don't know, like I feel like if you live with your boyfriend or girlfriend or like I said, whoever, I feel like you would definitely understand that. Like it's so good and I know it's only been like a few months now, but like I love it so much and... I'm really, really, really happy it's our situation and that we're able to like live together. It's one of the happiest things for me and I just wanted to tell you guys that because it just makes me super emotional because I love that girl so much and I don't know, I just, I get so happy seeing her face in the mornings. Ooh, cringy, Ooh, sorry, but yeah, where is my powder? Taking this Lunar Beauty brush, I know that this is a drugstore video, but the brushes are not going to be fully drugstore so taking that placing it on the under eye sometimes I use a brush sometimes I use a blender today we're going in with the brush look at the pores over here look at the pores over there I love powders so freaking much you guys it's honestly one of my favorite things did I even tell you what powder this is this is the elf halo glow in case you're like, you didn't say anything, like, sorry. Sometimes I'm just so into doing the makeup, I forget to, like, say what I'm doing. But that was what powder that was. I really, really love this one. It works beautifully. And I feel like, like I said earlier, I knew it would come together once I did add the powder. At first I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. But now I feel like it looks really, really pretty. And it's still glowy. And, like, the areas I didn't put it, you know. For the bronzer, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade... Toffee. It's just one of these little squeezy tubes and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on this blender and apply that to the cheekbone Oh Wow, so I think I'm a little bit too pale for this method right now because this is leaning like really really Orange more than cool tone like I thought I remembered it to be Ooh. Yeah, this is like, you guys know the Rare Beauty one I'm always using, but this one seems even more, like, orangey. I think I can make it work, though. Definitely less is more with that product, and I mean, I only put, like, a teeny tiny bit, so going even less with the other side... So it doesn't look the worst, but it definitely doesn't look the best. If I could go back in time, I would definitely have just went in with my e.l.f. putty bronzer that I usually would use for a drugstore option, but I was trying not to use that in this video. I just think I need another color. It blended out fine. I just think the color isn't really my favorite, and that's really all I can say about it, you know? 
and definitely less is more with that product as well which is a good thing you know like that's a good thing I just feel like I definitely need another shade for that then for powder bronzer I'm going into the physicians formula vacay mode palette which looks like this and I'm gonna go into that lightest brown shade right there like the bronzer shade these smell so strong you guys I always fear for my skin whenever I do use these because oh my goodness they're so strong and fragranted if you guys don't like fragrance you will hate this but if you don't mind fragrance I really feel like you'll love this because it's really really beautiful and feels so nice and smooth on the skin And then applying it on the forehead as well. I really like this brush. It's so funny. I'm using Laura Lee's brushes and also Lunar Beauties, which they're like best friends. So I think that's kind of funny that that's how this video is going. But I just recently got both of their brushes. So that is why I've been using these a bunch. Just trying to get my like opinions on them. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Milani Bake Blush in the shade Petal Primavera, which I've loved this, you guys. This is one of those products that I've loved for freaking years. I just love the tone of it. It has shimmer in it, which to be honest, I'm not the biggest freaking fan of with a lot of blushes I try, but this one for me doesn't overdo it. It really doesn't. Like, I feel like there's other shades that I definitely have tried that do have a little bit more of, like, a shimmery glow. And some of them are intense. I'm not going to lie that I do own. You guys see it does have, like, that little bit of shine. But when I do go in with those ones that I do own that have a lot more of the shimmer in them, I tend to not go in with a lot of highlight because I don't want, like, my texture super emphasized. And at the end of the day, if some of these products are going to do it for you anyways, you really don't need to do that step. Unless you really, really love, like, a metallic in-your-face highlight and you're not getting that out of the blush, I totally get it. I actually put that on my nose, which I told myself I wasn't going to do anymore. I'm taking a break from putting blush on the nose, but here we are. Can't even help it. Then going in with the highlight, which you guys, I love, love, love this highlight. I'm about to show you guys. It's also something I've loved for a really long time, and I thought I lost mine, like, in the last drugstore, well... Two drugstore videos ago, I was talking about how I thought I lost it, and I was super sad, but I found it. It is the e.l.f. White Gold Highlighter, which looks like this. So freaking pretty, you guys, and let me show you how it applies onto the face. And I love that it's super blinding, but also, like, very soft at the same time, if that makes sense. I really, really love the shade for my skin tone as well. And I don't know, I just think it looks really beautiful and really pretty. And I don't want to say natural because it's not natural, but like you guys would know what I mean. It's not like a slab of metal that's just like slathered on your face, you know. It just looks really, really beautiful and it blends in really nicely in my opinion. It's so pretty. Alright, so going in with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. The sprayer is a little intense, but try to just like be as far away as possible when you're spraying it. The opposite of what I did. <laughs> then for lips, I have this NYX Professional Superstars pack that has five lip liners in it, so I want to see which color I want to go into. Now we're going into the shade Espresso which is a really, really dark brown, so beautiful, so exciting. So that was a little bit darker than I anticipated, but at the end of the day, it's called Espresso. so what else would I be thinking it was going to look like? It did take a minute to get here, I won't lie, but then it looks really, really beautiful once you do work it up and once you are done. I did overline, as you guys can see, a little bit. So now we're going to go into the e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Cream. These are so good. I love this one that's called, I think, like Pepper or something that I do own. It's like a brighter kind of red, orange kind of tone that I love. But this is more of like a nudie. And just 
adding this by tapping it. Maybelline Lifter Gloss, which is such a favorite of mine in the shade Opal. When I have a lip combo, a lot of the times I do try to just like pat it on too instead of rubbing a bunch. And they're just kind of going like that. Mmm, they look so juicy. They look so juicy. Ooh, look at my frizzy hair in the back. I usually do my hair after videos. I'm going to start doing it before though because I feel like it would be throwing me off a little bit when I'm recording. We're going to be going into the e.l.f. Electric Mood Palette with Tiana Major 9. And oh my goodness, you guys. I love, 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 love this palette. I get so inspired. I get very, like spring and summer vibes from this palette like I've said but then also there are some tones there like in the middle that could be used for like fall looks so I really love that this one is a really beautiful palette for all across the board I'm going into the shade right here called latte which ooh, I could go for one right now let me tell you I've already had my one coffee of the day though but y'all sometimes one is not enough work this baby all up in that crease Really, really get it up in there. And also adding some to like this outer corner area. Then taking this shade right here called Braided Tresses. Same brush. And working this in the outer corner area. And a little bit more in the middle as well of the crease. And then I always try to diffuse my shadow on the outer area so that it doesn't look harsh. And kind of working it like near that bronze shade too. So it all just like meshes in really beautifully. I don't always do this, but this is the vibe I'm into today. Then going into the shade right here called Shy to Mine. Ooh, right here. These feel like very, very stiff in the pan. Well, this is the wrong freaking brush. <laughs> no wonder. I still feel like it's a little bit stiff in there, but we'll see. I'm just applying that directly onto the lid. Yeah, it's pretty. I want to apply this e.l.f. liquid shadow onto that lid just to make it pop a little bit more. Just a little, just a little. I know it also looks really pretty right now, but I just want to add like a teeny tiny bit. Mm, I wish this was like more pinky toned, you know? Because it does pop more, but we did like take away from the pink. But I don't know, I still think this looks really, really pretty. Yeah. All right, then doing the same exact thing on the other eye, and I'll be right back. And now I'm just going to go ahead and go back into the Latte shade and the Branded Tresses. Kind of mix those two together on this little pencil kind of brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the under eyes as well. Then I'm wearing purple, so I'm like, let's go into the purple shade, which is called Pink Shift Note Rose, right here. Then I had the Lash Beats from e.l.f., but I have no idea where that is, so instead we're going into the 5D Lash Pal Volumizing Mascara from Makeup Revolution. Now, I don't think Makeup Revolution is like drugstore, 
but I had to compromise with this so we're gonna go ahead and add it it definitely 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 does enhance the length of your lashes for sure but I will say this one gets super like clumpy really really easily so you have got to be careful if you care about that like look at how huge this wand is. It definitely does apply really, really quickly. It's just that it can also get so clumpy so soon. So you gotta be careful with this one. But it does give you a lot of volume and a lot of pow, like <laughs> the name suggests. You just have to be really careful because it clumps up so, so easy. This is what the look looks like. I will also go ahead and include a video right here of what this look looks like in natural lighting because I feel like that's really important sometimes. I think it looks really, really beautiful, but let me show you. I think it's really really pretty I personally just don't know how I feel about the coverage on this specific foundation again I think this is perfect for those days where you don't want a lot of coverage you know kind of thing but yeah I really enjoyed all the products I played with and I honestly think you could get this look by playing with like high-end makeup so that just shows you right there that you don't necessarily need the more expensive stuff it's just nice to have it sometimes but I love you guys so much I hope you enjoyed the look I was able to come up with and I'll see you in the next ones besties don't forget to like subscribe comment all the good stuff let me know what you want to see next and yeah besties bye